Hey there, I'm your host Lesawi, and in today's video, we are going to fix a bug in the inventory system. So with that said, let's begin. So what happens is that whenever we pick up a jacket or anything at all, and we have a second one, we can equip the first one, but then if we go to equip the second one, they'll all disappear. So we need to fix that, both for dragging and both for using the button here. Let's start by going to our inventory system, UI, and the equipment slot. Once inside, let's go to the event graph, and we want to fix a function called unequip item. Now, here we want this reference, this item ID, to be set to completely blank. So let's remove that. That's all we gotta do. And let's compile and save. Next, let's go on the drop function. So this one here, if you don't see it, click on drag and drop, undrop. So in here, what I want to do is, let's first of all, save this reference as the DO item slot. So let's promote the variable. Let's call it um, DDO item slot works. And we can plug it in and this will just avoid the dragging lines all over the place uh, like so. So um, let's get it and let's get the inventory the index and let's just plug them in but actually we don't even need this let's plug it in like so uh, break that where is this going to so we can control c control v drag it in and just remove the old lines so it looks a little cleaner for us here that's okay that's fine here as well and these lines are okay that's good. So before we exit, um, before we do a return, we want to go ahead and drag a function from the inventory. So we'll grab this. Do we have an inventory? No. We grab both of these and we'll do add to inventory. And we can go ahead and for the item ID, what we want to do is we want to once this is true this could also go in here instead of this guy dragging out like so we want to create a new local item id so local item id and this will be a name and we want to set it and we're setting it on true to our from our item id and then it gets overwritten and we can always use the remaining the last one that was known to add back to our inventory so that should be okay here compile and save next we want to go ahead and open up the item tool so let's open that up and in here on the event graph we'll do a similar thing so we want to edit the function equip item so this one here and at the very end We'll go ahead and call our component inventory and do add to inventory. And for the item ID, we'll have a new one. So we'll promote local, local underscore item ID. Now, all that's left is to populate this item ID. So for that, what we'll do is we'll set it and we want to populate it by grabbing the equipment slot. Um, so for that, what we can do is if this is promoted to a, what's this? Perfect. If this is promoted to a variable, we do local variable instead, actually. Local variable, WB equipment slot. And because we have this nice and clean here, we can go ahead and call it down here. And we can do get item ID. And there we have it. You could also go ahead and clean up some of this since they use the same reference. So if you want to, you could do that. And pick up a jacket and a red shirt. Should be able to drag and drop without any issues, and we can. What if we go ahead and equip? That works. And there we go. 
fixed. So this is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like. And as always, happy developing.